Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to go ahead and do a little haul with you guys. Products that I had recently got and some that were sent to me. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what those products are and items are, then keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I'd pop on here real quick and do the shout out Saturday. The shout out Saturday is Rebecca Sayers and she, I have been watching her videos for quite some time now since I've been in the MAM group. She is a cutie pie, a beautiful cutie pie as I would like to say. She has beautiful flawless looks. She has, she's from Australia, so she has this uh, beautiful gorgeous Australian accent. I love to hear I love hearing my Australian accents, my Southern accents, my uh, English accents. I love hearing everybody's different accents. And with no exception, I love hearing her talk. And she does a lot of um, tutorial looks. Um, she does do reviews. She just recently did a review not too long ago on the Too Faced Foundation Born This Way. She does gorgeous looks. She's very, very, very good at the at her makeup looks i'm kind of surprised that she doesn't have more subscribers because you know she's just a very um pleasant person to watch you know i really enjoy watching her so i'm going to put a link down to her channel below please go check her out show her some love maybe subscribe also do not forget about the mab giveaway it's uh each month there's uh one of the ladies from MAB, which is Middle Aged Beauties, that's what it's abbreviated for, is doing a giveaway. And this one, It's Simple with Bridget, she's doing the giveaway for this month. I believe it ends on the 19th of September, that's the last date. And then the following day after will be the next person. The rules are just, you know, you have to be subscribed to all the beautiful ladies that I will have down below in the MAB group and comment on Bridget's giveaway video. Just wanted to remind you, I believe her giveaway is for a $50 gift card from Sephora and a Sephora lipstick of your choice. So yeah, that's a pretty good giveaway. Yes, I will put a link to that video of her giveaway as well down below. So you can go right to the giveaway and comment on it as well. So, all right beauties, let's go on to my haul video. I wanted to share with you guys some products that I did purchase with my own money, but I also uh, was sent some products uh, for free. Uh, some companies sent me some products and they're like uh, PR and everything. So I will share some of those. I'll show those ones at the very end. And then also I had one a giveaway. So I'll start off with a giveaway. Julie Smith from the MAB group she was doing a giveaway. It was for a really pretty necklace, as I'll show you here. I have to say she's such a wonderful lady to watch. I've really enjoyed, like I said, getting to know a lot of the ladies in those groups. The box came, and here's the bag that was in the box, which, how cute is that? You know, the little stickers and everything, just decorated up cute. She gave me a card in there, too. Super cute thanking me for the support and that she was happy that I won the giveaway and she hopes I was having a great week. So I thought that was really nice. And this is from the Mark collection, you know, from Avon. Is that not pretty or what? I mean, that is so me. That is so pretty. It's a heavy one too, for sure. So I'm really looking forward to putting that on. She had sent me the uh, Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche contouring palette. This one's the new formula because like when I got mine, it, it just came out. It was like so hard to get and it just came out. So this is with the new formula. And this is one of my favorites that I grab a lot. I mean a whole lot. Uh, so thank you. I will be stocked up on that one for sure. And then I was actually going to get one of these when I was in my Rite Aid and it's like sometimes I'll go in the store and I get so sidetracked and then later I'm like, oh, you know, like I wanted to pick that up or I was going to get this or that. I'm sure we all have been there and done that. But this is the powder brush from Wet n Wild. 
it's the pretty uh, white and pink. So I really like that. I can't wait to try. I haven't, I don't think I've tried, I don't think I've tried any brushes from Wet n Wild. And then I felt like she kind of knew me in a sense, like she, you know, because there's certain things um, that I like to collect that has certain designs and things on them. I love, she gave me some stickers here of dragonflies. And I love dragonflies. There's actually like little sparkly glitters on them and stuff. They're so cute. Which I was surprised that she sent all this stuff. Two uh, favorite things is dragonflies and then butterflies. I love anything with butterflies on it. And this is a, I believe a note, notebook. Yeah, it's a notebook, which I can always use these because when I'm doing my channel or getting stuff in order, um, it's great to have one. And of course, she added some pens in with it as well, which these are super cute, colorful pens. And I honestly could use pens because I swear the pen mon monster in this house, which I think might be my cat. Like if he sees one, he's like, you know, smacking around and then it goes under somewhere. Like later I find it's like, oh, you know, so <laughs> I could always use more pens. So so anyway, Julie, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it all. And all obviously it will all go into great use. And I'm gonna put a link down to her channel down below. Please go and check her out. Tell her I sent you and you know, tell her hi and everything. Uh, you guys will really like her. Let's go into products that I did purchase. Yeah, when we went to the mall shopping, of course I went to Alta, of course. Of course, <laughs> I had to go in Alta. So when I was in there, um, I just got some cotton pads, the cotton round pads. I usually get mine in Walmart, but eh, I just figured what the heck. I got um, I got these. There's like 80 in them or something, and they're pretty nice actually. They're nice quilted little pads. They've done me pretty good um, with removing my. I use it with my um, cellar water or eye maker remover stuff or anything like that. I did like the ones that Walmart had though that were oval shaped more because they were a little bigger and I liked that a lot for the face area. These are kind of a little more smaller. I was looking around by the uh, NYX area and there was those suede, I think they were the, I think they were the suede liquid lipsticks and there was this particular shade and I cannot remember the name of the shade right now. Uh, when I was in there the last time it, they were sold out. Again, when I was just in there recently they were sold out. I was like, wow, like, did they never get any in or do they sell it that fast? And she told me that no sooner they get this color in, it's like gone. It's kind of in that pinky brown family that's kind of popular right now, which I am digging, I am liking. So she was like, well, there is no, she said it's in a little more of the higher end stuff, but there is a color in the uh, liquid lipstick from Stila that looks similar to it. And I was like, well, what the heck, you know, I'm like, let's go. Cause I have been curious of the liquid lipsticks from Stila. And this is the lip color that I was wearing in my video where I was asking you guys what you thought of the lip color on my lips. I think, cause I was asking my husband, I'm like, how in the world would you describe this um, word? And it's B-A-C-I. And he said, it almost sounded like French, maybe even. So he thought maybe bussy. And it's too little for me to even take, let the camera see, but this is the shade here. And like I said, it's the liquid lipsticks and oh, these are very pigmented. So that's the shade right there that I had on. It is that pink brown shade and I did like it. Um, some thought maybe it washed me out or I actually really liked it. And I'll tell you this much. I will tell you this much. This will not budge at all unless you take it off seriously my experience with it i drank coffee i ate my dinner i did all kinds of stuff and yeah it took me to take it off literally like with you know makeup remover when i drank my coffee it wasn't like none um was on the coffee cup itself you know like it does it does kind of come off in that sense, but like it leaves this stain and it's like just still there. So it's almost like you really don't need to touch up. I don't feel, I, I like these. So I'm 
definitely getting a couple other colors. So while I was in there, I was looking at the highlighters and I thought, oh my God, like I really, like I really need any more of anything though, really. But I laughed, I told the lady, I said, you know, as if I need another highlighter and the Lurok highlighters, I am totally getting at least one of them because there's one in particular, I think it's Moonlight or something like that. Mm. It is gorgeous. She told me, she said that there was this one palette had some highlighters in it and there was a highlighter in there that was similar to the Lorac one that I liked, the Moonlight one or something. In my honest opinion, because I had the Moonlight one on my hand and then swatched the highlight that's in this palette, I'm going to show you. No, it did not. I mean, she was trying to tell me it did, but no, there, there was a difference. I, I did see a difference. So she was showing me the palette and it ended up being the Carly Bible palette. It was the last one sitting there too. The very last one. I thought, and I thought, well, I have been actually wanting to check into this palette and a display out. And that is some of the shadows that I have on my eyes right now. Even the highlight like this, that, that blingy, blinginess that you see there. Got to lay low on the highlight because otherwise, yeah, you're going to be sparkling to the sky. And I have this one on, the second one in here. Now, this this one here is the one that she was trying to tell me that it was like moon Moonlight from Lorac, but no. No, there was no even any similarity to it at all. One, two, three, four, five matte shades. And then one, two, three, four, five uh, shimmery, shimmery shades. So there's a little bit of mixture of both in there. And it is it is a beautiful palette, guys. If you can get your hands on this from BH Cosmetics or your Ulta, it is so worth the money. This shade right here for on the eyelids, this one here. Oh my goodness. Like that is so pretty right there. I mean, look how that is so pretty and then the matte shades like this one in here is like one of my favorite matte matte shades this one here it is so I mean look at that that is so pretty I have used that a couple of times right there it is this one here I use a lot as a transition shade right there that I use as my transition. Like now, this is the highlight, the lightest one here. This is a very pretty look at that. And then this is the shade I'm wearing right now, the second one in. Oh my goodness, that one, that one, this one here, the one I'm wearing right now, reminds, reminds me a little bit of Opal from Becca. There's the two of them there, which right there is the one I have on, and then of course that's the lighter one. I haven't swatched. See, I got to swatch these in the store, which was nice. Now there's the third one in. There it is there. And then of course the dark one at the very end. Uh, no, it, I'd have to use it as an eyeshadow, but it's gorgeous copper shade right there. It is. I put, see how, no, but it's pretty copper shade. I mean, for me, yes, I like it. So the last thing I got um, and I ordered online was from QVC and Josie Marion was having a TSV and I, Josie Marin, I haven't tried a whole lot from her, but her foundation, that foundation, the new one, I have been wanting to try. Well, that foundation was in the TSV. The lip shade here, they give you, um, this one is in, I can't even see what shade it's in, sadly. I believe it's her lip gloss or something like that. And it is really nice. It's very sheer. It is sticky. It has, um, Sort of a little sweet scent to it but right there it is it is one of the sticky glosses so you probably if you don't like sticky you probably won't like this but but here is the foundation the uh, Josie Marin vibrancy foundation Oy! like I've only used it twice already and that is what I'm wearing today it is yes it is it is nice I am liking this so far yeah mine's in mysticals but mine's in and that was considered a light shade and it works pretty good for me. So then, yeah, you get the argan oil in there and I, 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 I missed you. I really, I did. I missed this. I really realized how much I missed argan oil. Then I wanted to try this out was her pure argan milk 
it came in there too. I only got to use this a couple of times, so I can't really state too much of anything. I don't even smell a scent to it, but I can't state too much. But the last couple of times I had used these two together because she says to put this on because it's a treatment, and then you put this on every top and everything. And so far, like I did it mostly at night, and I kind of like the whole combo of it right now. You, you get the brush, which I have been using. It's like a stippling brush. It is a quite lovely brush. Um, I've had no problems with it, and I have been doing it like this way, just to give it a try the way that, you know, they say to do. On to products that were sent to me. Um, so, of course, I did get these for free, and they're considered PR, like product reviews you can do or something like that. So, let's go ahead and hop into that. Do you all know, because I showed already um, and, and did a review on it and everything, was the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette. Yeah, this was sent to me by Pure Cosmetics, and... There it is there. It is a it is a really nice palette, guys. For right now with the upcoming, you know, fall and everything, it, it is a really nice palette. So I'll put a link to the review if you didn't see it down below if you're curious or anything like that. Joyaco sent me another product, Hair Shake. It's liquid to powder texturizing finisher. I used this only once, and I have to say, pretty interesting. Like, you only use it on dry hair. I'll tell you, the first time I used this, pretty pretty interesting, pretty impressive. And then here's the skin products that was sent to me, and it's um, Hydro Hydropeptide On The Go Glow. I've never heard of this company at all, ever. In the bag here um, is an exfoliating cleanser. Um, a pre-treatment toner, purifying mask, eye authority, and facelift. And I've only used all these products twice, but for except the face mask. We don't know. We'll, we'll get into that a day too. But And then I got a box from um, OGX again. But here's how they pack stuff. It's really nice. It's with the little wormies. In here is Argan Oil of Morocco in shower oil. It's you can use it from head to toe. So they sent me that. I will try it. The only thing is, and it probably does state it, is stuff like this, obviously you have to watch in a shower because you don't want to be ice skating. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I already have another one. I already have one of these. Um, it's the Anti-Gravity Hydration O2 Weightless Oil Lifting a lifting tonic and it's not bad but it's just not fully something I'm too into myself this is the volumizing mousse oh yay me okay I got a mousse here that I can try Ooh, I love trying mousses I, I really love mousses so that's in here I thought that was the hairspray because I do have the hairspray and I love it the other thing here is surf paste uh, texturizing surf paste with argan oil, Moroccan, Morocco, uh, sea kelp, and sea salt. It helps to create radical unstructured, unstructured surf style. It adds separation texture control with a matte finish. I, I don't know. We'll see with that. I'm not sure. But yeah, surf, surf paste or whatever. And then they gave me uh, coconut water shampoo, which I do have the spray. Now they only gave me a small shampoo, but a bigger conditioner, which that's fine because, you know, but it's weightless hydration coconut water shampoo. I'll have to see how this one is. Give me a nice big fat thing of the conditioner. So, and I do like the, it's in a bottle like this, the coconut uh, spray. I just showed that. Sorry right, guys, that is everything. That is it. That is what all I had purchased or was sent or you know, and my giveaway and everything that I got, that I won. So thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and it would help me out a lot. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys all take care. I will see you then. Love you. Mwah.
Bye.